Okay, you got your car apart, got it in pieces. All right, now what? Let's discuss it. We had the car apart, right? Now what? Well, the windscreen looks pretty good. We'll polish that up. No big deal there. The interior, I'm probably going to paint either tan or black, and I know that I'm going to paint the hood scoop flat black. We know we're doing a wheel change with this. That's not what this video is about. The next step in most people's um, process is the paint. I already know that I'm going to change this. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do it a white or a kiwi green or um, sublime green. If I do a sublime, I'll probably use white stripe. If I do white, I'll probably use um, sublime stripes on it. I don't know yet. I might just do it like a vanishing point, right? Which is white, solid white car. I don't know. We'll see. But there's several ways to go about doing this. The cheapest and easiest way is to just take uh, some acetone, lacquer thinner, whatever on a Q-tip, wipe it on the decals, let it frizz, just wipe it, wipe it, and as it starts bubbling up, take an old rag, wipe it off, and then scuff it up with a 3M pad, and then spray the whole thing. But that's not how we're going to do it. We're trying to get professional quality results, because again, we're working toward doing this car. Practice it on the cheap cars so that we can fix the old, more expensive cars. Now there's several things that you can use for this. Again, you can use fingernail polish, which is acetone. You can get this for a dollar a bottle at the Dollar Tree, dollar, um, the Dollar Tree and Dollar Store, stuff like that. Dollar a bottle, 100% acetone. Or you can go to Lowe's Hardware's um, Home Depot, whatever you have in your area, and buy a bigger container of it. Then you can rub it on, put it in a pan or a bowl or something, let it sit, keep coming back. Some people use lacquer thinner, paint thinner, stuff like that. It all depends on the paint. It really does. And how quickly do you want it done? How quickly do you want it stripped? How easily do you want the process to be? Some are easier than others. Personally, I don't have a lot of time to be sitting around with rags and q-tips and stuff trying to just a practice car just trying to get it to where I can do what I want to do to it now I know I still got to drill and tap these posts I'm not gonna worry about that for the the stripping process a lot of people do it now but I'm going to do it after the stripping so what are we going to use I am going to be using and this is one of the most popular methods on YouTube Citra strip. You can pick this up. This is 64 ounces or 1.893 liters. This is 64 ounces of stripper. Like I said, you can use any paint stripper out there. Doesn't matter. Some are more hazardous, of course, to the environment. Some are more hazardous to you. And, you know, anytime you want to deal with chemicals, you want to wear gloves and all that good stuff. You want to be as careful as you can. And as you can see, it strips multiple layers, removes dried latex and oil-based paint, and no harsh fumes. And that's the main reason I'm doing this with this product. It's cold outside, and I don't want to be outside trying to strip my cars with harmful fumes. I don't have a garage. I don't have a basement. So my stripping and stuff is going to have to be done inside. So with that said, this is how we're going to do it. <clears throat> now the next train of thought is how to do it. Some people will take it and put it in a container and then just drop your cars in it and let them soak. It doesn't take but a couple hours and the paint comes right off. I mean, it just falls off. Some people put it in there and let it sit for a day or two. It will not hurt it. This will not hurt the metal of the car. Some people like to brush it on and because they feel, they feel like they're not wasting as much and they also feel like they're not contaminating the stripper by mixing in all the old paints and whatnot into the stripper. 
Some people feel that that diminishes the reactivity of the gel with the paint. However you want to do it, I'm not going to say there's a right or a wrong way, but I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Just because of simplicity. Okay? Because to use this, you have to, to do it one way. And just to name one guy, Diecast uh, Graveyard. Really good, great guy. Knows his stuff and everything. He likes to brush his arm. He'll take a, a paintbrush, brush it on, put it over in a metal pan, and let it sit. And then he'll come back to it and knock it off. But like I said, I'm not going to be monitoring this. I'm not going to be sitting there coming back and forth throughout the day watching to see if the paint is coming off. I want to just do it and be done with it. So what we're going to do, jar from the Dollar Tree, right? Just a cheap old jar. You can use a, a mason jar or anything. I like this one because it has a large mouth. The car can almost fit in there without touching. So that's what we're going to use. Now the citrus strip for 64 ounces at Lowe's, my local Lowe's in North Carolina, is $20, $19.99. So that's not bad for the amount that you get. Now when you're in the store, it looks like it's not you're not getting that much. But you really are. You're getting quite a bit. We're just going to fill the jar up. And if you watch some of the guys, like I said, you have Paul over at Diecast Graveyard. He likes to brush his on. Then you have another Paul. Uh, I think his name is Paul Udellis. Paul U yeah, Udellis. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry, Paul. Please correct me. But those guys have two different methods. And I, like I said, I'm going to use the latter. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff does not... I'm going to put both of those guys' links in, in the description below. They are outstanding at restoring and customizing Hot Wheels. And Matchbox, as far as that goes, they are outstanding at it. I strive one day and hope to be only half as good as these guys are. But as you can see, I filled up the jar, and it's, it's only right here. So I didn't use that much. I didn't even use half to go in this. And let me tell you, it does not smell like citrus. It does not smell like an orange or anything like that. It doesn't stink, but it doesn't smell like any fruit or citrus. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just take the car. And this is going to be so much fun. And I want to, I want to take this time to say thank you to all the people on YouTube that put out these videos. They show how to do this and everything. This is my first time ever doing this. My wife is mad at all y'all because of the money I've been spending. <laughs> but with that stated, let's do it. Paul over at Paul Udellis, he, uh, he gets such a pleasure out of doing this. Let's see. Down it goes. Look at it, it's like quicksand. Just watch it for a second. Bye bye. Now, of course, we'll have to dig that out. You don't want to dig out with your fingers, so you'll need something later on, like, like some tongs or some forceps, something like that. And the ones you see everybody using on YouTube, you could pick them up at Plaza. They're only like $9 for the real long ones. Here, you know, I'll get them out and show them to you what they look like. I picked up some when I picked up my airbrush. But they're called hemostats, sorry. But you could pick these up at Harbor Freight. They're somewhere between $6.99 and $9.99. And if you have, a, if they, you know, this is the only thing you get, and you have a 20% off coupon, well, you'll save some. But that's all it is. There's the item number. You can order it off their website, 10-inch curved stainless steel. So they won't rust. If you get paint and stuff on them, you can come back later on, uh, use a scotch Bright pad, take it right off. But the car's gone. And this is what I like about it. All we got to do is just close it back up, right? And set it off to the side. Come back in a day or so which is what I'll do. And the reason I didn't fill it all the way up is as, as you can see, once you drop the car in there, I've only got, I've only got probably two inches of headspace there. Once you drop your car in there, you're adding volume to it. So that raises the fluid level. So you have to think about that when you're filling your car, but you know, we'll set that to the side, come back tomorrow, pull it out, see how it does. So I'm gonna stop the video now and Pick it back up when we pull it out. We'll see you tomorrow. 24 hours later. All right, here we go. 
got me something to set it on when we take it out. It's been 24 hours later. Let's see how well this actually worked. Take our hemostats, fill around for it. Feels like it right there. Oh yeah, you can see the paint stuff coming off right there. Let some of the excess drip off. Paint is just falling off of it. Now let's take this into the bathroom and rinse it off and see what we have. Alright, now are you ready to see something really cool? I thought I was going to have to hit this with a brush or uh, got my brass brush ready to go in case, you know, there's some left on it. And I'll still hit it with it, but this is straight out of the citrus strip and did nothing but rinse it off with hot water. Look at that. It took every bit of it off. Still got to rinse a little bit right there, but just look at that. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to have a lot of brushing to do and everything, which I guess on some of the older models and stuff I would have. But man, look at that. I mean, I have done nothing but hit this with just hot water. No scrubbing, no nothing. Wow, I am thoroughly pleased. So there you go. I'm going to call it that wipe it off and look it over and then I'm going to decide what color I want to paint it and then we will go from there but I wanted to put this video out so you could see how to strip your car to get it ready for paint I mean there's some other stuff we could do like you know looking for casting lines or something like that that needs to be filed off but overall this looks really good. I actually think it'll look good polished up and clear cut it. But that's not what we're going to do. I have other plans for this car. Nothing big, nothing major, but I do have other plans for it. So we're going to dry it off real good. I still got to drill and tap the post. Nothing major there. You know, you got to do it on all of them. But I'm going to dry it off and that's going to be that until next time i hope this helped you if you're just beginning wondering what to use how to do it and everything citrus strip works very very well look at that i have done nothing to it but just leave it in there overnight 24 hours you know there's a couple of specs here or there but that's all right you're not going to see those anyway so until next time hope you enjoyed the video thank you all so very much for watching We'll see you in the next one. Take care.